Hey everyone, how's it going? This is the Bald Metal Nerd coming at you with uh, another video. Um, you know what this one's going to be about, so um, we're just going to get right into it. We're going to be talking about all of the wide-ranging effects that uh, the coronavirus crisis is having on everyone. I'm not going to just be talking about myself. I'm going to be talking about the wider societal aspects of this, right? Um, and I can only really speak for the United States. I don't have uh, direct experience in other countries, so I don't know how it's going there. So we're just going to talk about my little corner of the world, as it were. So, um, you know, a, a f as recently as one month ago, at the beginning of March, uh, we had no idea uh, really what was coming down the pike, right? And uh, what would be happening? Very interesting stuff. Um, this unfolded very, very quickly. So, um, I mean, we had heard of the coronavirus by then, obviously, but we didn't have any idea uh, how wide, you know, how wide ranging it was and how much it would affect everything, right? Um, so. What's going on? Well, we all know what's going on right now. Most of the U.S. is under more or less a lockdown, right? Uh, most of the U.S. is, un most states are under stay-at-home orders. Um, most of the world really is in lockdown. And what impact has that had? Well, I guess there's two impacts that we have to talk about. Uh, the first one I'm going to talk about is the um, health side of this, the actual disease itself. Um, now, there are a lot of people out there who say, well, it's not as bad as the flu. More people die of the flu every year. Why don't we freak out about the flu, blah, blah, blah. I, I hear you guys. Um, and there's some basis for that, but the fact of the matter is, now I'm not an expert on this subject, so... I'm not trying to speak as a doctor, or epidemiologist, or any of that kind of stuff. But um, from my understanding, um, this is significantly worse than the flu. It has a much higher death rate um, and is more uh, vir virulent than the flu. It spreads easier. I, again, I don't know this for a fact, but that's that's pretty much my understanding. It spreads a lot easier and it kills more people, and that it, and it spreads apparently fairly easily. The coronavirus, you know, jumps from person to person very easily and has a much higher death rate than the flu. And apparently that's why that's basically the, the extreme threat that it poses to, you know, certain groups or whatever. So that's the reason for this lockdown that we're currently going through, right? And um, literally the situation is changing day to day. Um, from what I hear in the media and such, it does appear to be slowing the disease down. All these lockdowns seem to be like they're having the intended effect of, of you know, health-wise of slowing this thing down, right? So, um, it is kind of a victory, uh, but it also... Now I'm going to talk about something else related to the health side of this. Um, and that is our medical system here in this country. Now, what's ironic about this pandemic is, I think, uh, now, now Trump has si signaled willingness to say, hey, you know, if you get the coronavirus, you shouldn't have to pay for treatment at all. It should all be covered. Basically, Medicare for all for coronavirus, right? which I find ridiculous. Um, not the fact that they want to pay for it, but, but in my opinion, we should have Medicare for all for everything, not just coronavirus. What if you get cancer? Or what if you get you know, pneumonia? What, whatever it is, any, anything you get should be covered. It shouldn't just be for one dis the, the hot disease of the moment. This should be for anything that you get. Any, any disease you get should be covered by, by uh, Medicare for all, in my opinion, not just one disease. Um, so, again, um, the fact that 
there are millions of people in this country that are facing this horrible crisis health-wise, and they're worried, am I going to have giant medical bills from this? Absolutely horrendous, absolutely ridiculous, and shouldn't be the case. Um, so there's that. Um, and as far as the final outcome, as far as this, the whole health side of this goes, uh, we're not really going to know the results for months or years, really, the final result of this. And that's, that's just the health side of this. And now, of course, I'm going to talk about the economical, economic side of this, right? Um, obviously, uh, this has thrown the world economy basically into a depression at this point. I think, you know, um, it, it, we've had a gigantic increase in unemployment, myself included, of course. Um, this is unprecedented in our lifetimes. Uh, the r rapidity of this uh, event, you know, this is probably going to, and God, I hope so, I hope this is the biggest event of any of our lifetimes. Because the last major event I can think of was 9-11. And that was transformative, and I think it made things worse overall. This is making 9-11 look like a walk in the park in comparison. Uh, simply because with 9-11, it was all pretty much... The actual event itself, I'm not thinking about the years and years of after effects that we're still feeling even now, but the actual event itself only lasted one day, whereas this has lasted uh, at least a month at this point, yeah, well, a bit more than a month, month and a half, and I don't know how long it will last total. We don't know what when we're going to come out the other side of this. We have no idea what that's going to look like, right? Um, and how much of an economy will be left when we come out the other side of this, right? Um, businesses are failing left and right, and our government response is inadequate, uh, to put it mildly. Yes, we are getting stimulus checks. That's something. Um... My family will be getting, I guess, 2900 because the two adults and, and one child who's under 17. So we'll be getting 2900 so that's something. But is $2,900 going to uh, reverse my fortune significantly? No, obviously not. Um, plus, I will be getting expanded unemployment benefits, which is good. So these things will help, but eventually those unemployment benefits will obviously run out, right? And how long will I be out of work? Who knows? How long will these millions and millions of people who are out of work, how long will all these people be out of work? Who the hell knows, right? There's no, like, I can't sit here and say, yeah, everything's going to be back to normal by this time or that time because we just legitimately have no idea how long this crisis is going to last. There's no... It's completely unprecedented in modern times, what we're going through now. Um, it's, it's absolutely insane what we're seeing. So it's just, who knows, and how long will it take for things to uh, recover from this economically? Who knows? Um, I don't think it's going to be particularly quick. It could take years. It could take a decade. Hell, who the hell knows? And the reason I say that is with the amount of people that have lost jobs in such a short amount of time, um, there's going to be a major reshuffling of the economy, right? It's not just, you know, it's not like just next week I'm going to go back to my old job. But like, get when we get the all clear, I'm not going right back to my old job. Um, I might be at a different job, you know, or... My old job may or may not come back ever, you know, it, who the hell knows, right? And that's the same thing for however many other millions of people are going through this. So this is causing a gigantic disruption. Um, and that leads me to talk again about healthcare. You know, the whole notion that we have in the U.S. of employer-based healthcare, uh, if this crisis doesn't prove how ridiculous and immoral and indefensible employer-based healthcare is, 
I don't know what does. I don't know what will. Um, <laughs> this should be the end of employer-based health care, in my view. Obviously, I don't think that's going to be the case, but um, this should be it. This should kill it. This this should this should prompt us to go to a single payer system. Um, I don't think it will, but again, this should maybe it'll wake some people up. I hope. Um, and this also, to me, has shown the need. What's interesting is. Um, with the recent Democratic primary that just ended pretty much. Um, Andrew Yang was an interesting character. Um, he was talking about UBI. And prior to Andrew Yang, um, like most Americans, I had only given it, you know, cursory thought, right? I hadn't deeply analyzed the issue or given it much thought. Um, during this crisis has kind of... Um, refocused my attention on it a little bit. Um, I don't think UBI... Before, if you'd asked me, what do I think about UBI, I probably would have been on the fence. I would have said, you know, I don't know what I think about UBI. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. I'm a little bit on the fence of, about it. Right? Because I would have said, you don't want to disincentivize work too much. <laughs> uh... Because, you know, how, how are people going to be productive if they're not doing something? Well, there's a whole lot of us not doing anything right now. Not really by our own choice. So, um, it's making me rethink UBI. It's making me think maybe UBI is a good idea. <laughs> you know, um, so, yeah, I mean, there's that. I this whole crisis has really just shown what a house of cards that our society is, what it's built on. It's built on basically endless, um, that's what I'm looking for, consumer demand, right? If, if all of a sudden there's no less consumer demand, everything just grinds to a halt. I know it's not designed for this, but um, this really shows just if there's a disruption, we get fucked, pretty much. Um, there are other countries that are, of course, doing this better. Um, I think now I don't. I'm not looking at Google, so if I get the name of the, which country this is wrong, I apologize. I believe Denmark is more or less putting a quote pause on their economy, where the government is actually paying payroll for a lot of the private companies just so people stay in their jobs. Right? Uh, they're putting a pause, like on rent, mortgages, all of these things. You know, um, which in my opinion is a good idea because if you just put a pause on everything and everybody essentially stays in their jobs, even though if there's no ac economic activity going on, if you stay in your job, once you get the quote all clear, it's a hell of a lot easier to quote get back to normal, right? Way easier, way, 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 way easier than than what we have in the states, because basically here, it's all on the individual individuals to get these things happening, you know, um, instead of just being done automatically. I mean, I had to get in touch with my mortgage. That took, you know, five hours. I did, you know, um, it took me God knows how many hours to get answers from unemployment. Um, it's this whole process, you know, and I'm sure part of that is to disincentivize people from taking advantage of these programs, but... <laughs> I'm a pretty determined person, so I'm going to take advantage of whatever I can, however I can. So it's not going to dissuade me. I'll just try harder and harder until I eventually get it. But I'm going off on a tangent here. Um, the point I'm trying to make is we have no idea what the long-term or medium-slash-long-term implications of this are. Um, we don't know how long it's going to take to recover. Is the lockdown worth it? I don't know. I can't answer that question. I don't know if we'll be able to answer that question for months or years, but the point is this has had 
this is the biggest thing that's happened in our entire lifetimes, and I think we'll change society more than any other single event ever has in our lifetimes. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that for any of you watching this, nothing this big happens again in any of your lifetimes. Hopefully, this is the biggest thing that we get, because you typically when we have big events, they're not positive. They're, 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 there's an old curse, may you live in interesting times. Well, we've been living in some very interesting times. Um, I would love for times to be nice and boring. That would be fantastic. Now, we have seen major societal shifts in our lifetimes. Um, the biggest one I can, of course, think of is the rise of the Internet. But that was, um, that didn't happen all in like a month, right? The Internet integrated into our lives over the over a few decades, really, right? It took a couple of decades from it being opened up to the public to basically being ubiquitous, right? Same thing with smartphones. It took it took years. It was not, here's this thing and now it's everywhere and it's changed everything. It took years and it integrated into our lives. Whether that was destructive or not, that's a topic for debate that we could have. Uh, so, anyway, uh, this extremely destructive event that we're going through who knows what's going to happen when we come out on the other side? Um, it could just mean more Orwellian things like maybe they'll use it as an excuse to track us where we are, all that. Because I, because of course they're already talking about tracking people to track the spread of COVID. So there could be some really bad things coming down the pipe because of this. There could be some good things coming down the pipe of this. Maybe this will finally wake up the American people, and we demand real fundamental change, although, <laughs> who knows? I mean, we just basically, we just missed our chance to nominate Bernie, so, who's the only candidate who represented actual change, so uh, maybe not. Maybe we'll just continue on the same old, same old path, continue to fail, and uh, continue to suffer. Who's to know? Um... I just had to get all of this off my chest be based on how I'm feeling. I'm pretty uh, upset right now. Um, and I just wanted to say something. So anyway, of course, I'm always interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Whatever aspect of this you'd like to talk about, I'm all ears. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Live long and prosper. Keep on rocking.